Hello and welcome to the Mariners Massive. Here on Football Manager 21, our Central Coast outfit are top of the A-League by just three points from Wellington Phoenix. And today we take on MacArthur FC at Campbelltown Stadium. As you can see, there is no Mark Milligan for the home side. The skipper was injured earlier this week, suffering a pulled calf muscle. Uh, which rendered him unavailable for this game. In his place has come in Dennis Genro, so he partners Bernat and Loic Puyo in central midfield. Uh, the Bulls going for a 4-3-3 with uh, Matt Derbyshire, a former Blackburn striker, uh, taking up position at the very top of the, uh, the structure there. In the final third, uh, I'm going to send Big John Aloisi over to uh, speak to the press just before we do we've got MacArthur as you can see their formation uh, they are ninth uh, this season in the A-League so not doing that well uh, to be honest and Anta Milicic is under some pressure both him and Patrick Kisnorbo so City down in eighth place on the ladder they are going to be uh, in a bit of bother if results don't go their way. City, I have to say, play in a Melbourne derby. They play against Melbourne Victory uh, this weekend. And uh, the Mariners kicking things off in our away strip of blue. Not sure why we couldn't get away with wearing uh, yellow today, but uh, there you have it. We'll put the shot map on for the Mariners. Uh, McGing has already picked up a booking. That's always a good sign for me when our opposition are picking up cautions early in the game. And we've had one shot, not on target. Goal kick uh, to Mark Birigitti as well. Uh, you will have seen, hopefully you will have seen, uh, the A-League rundown uh, on Sunday, as I announced that the transfer window is now open. And that means that there is plenty of activity from A-League size. Saseta going for the ball there. Uh, sorry, Clisby going for the ball. Uh, from Sasata's run. Uh, we'll go through our team in a moment. Just want to talk about some uh, transfer activity that's taking place as Marcos Shurena goes through and scores thanks to Stefan Jankovic assist. Look at that. Takes the ball, carries it in field. He's tracked, but he's not challenged, is he? Shurena holds his run and then finds the back of the net. Really good play. Adam Federici taken out of the game. And that's what you've got to do with the Bulls. You've got to find a way to get round Adam Federici in their goal because he is a pretty awesome prospect uh, for any team coming up against MacArthur. Uh, very experienced uh, over in the UK and, of course, with the Socceroos, uh, the international setup. De Silva through to Yanota. Now, what can he do from there? It's Bazanic and it's another goal. His first of the season. Uh, some, I think it's eight years between the goals since he last scored in the A-League, Oli Bazanic. Of course, he was over here in the UK with Hearts. Uh, Negro cuts inside and that. The channel opened. Absolutely no chance for Federici. As good as he is, he isn't getting there. So two goals in four minutes has just turned things on its head at Campbelltown Stadium. As I was saying, transfer news uh, has been happening. We'll go through it, of course, in Rundown on Sunday in a little bit more detail. But I'll just give you a few snippets of what's been uh, happening. Liam Reddy received a contract offer from Melbourne Victory. He's actually turned it down uh, and won't be leaving Perth glory. Certainly not at this stage uh, for the victory. Meanwhile, the big blue rivals uh, of victory, Sydney FC, they have been very busy. So not only are they bringing in Daniel Lopar, uh, former Western Sydney Wanderers uh, goalkeeper. They're waiting a work permit for him. Uh, they've also put in an offer for Andrew Hool, uh, who's over at Broad Meadow Magic. Bit of a set-piece specialist, I seem to recall. Played last in the A-League for the Central Coast Mariners, uh, as it would happen. Uh, so they've put in, uh, they've dropped, uh, I think it's about 15k, uh, an offer for him. So he could be uh, a bit of an addition to Sydney FC. Newcastle Jets, meanwhile, are in for Taras Gamulka uh, on loan. Uh, so I believe he's now at Melbourne City. 
Last year he was Adelaide United, uh, moved on, uh, but hasn't quite got the game time that perhaps he was anticipating. And that has opened the door uh, for the Jets from the Hunter Valley to uh, put in a bit of an offer for him. As the Mariners are on the front foot yet again, Negro inside to Yanota. Bazanic with the strike, but he doesn't go anywhere. And in fact, Tommy Orr tries to mount uh, the counter attack. Uh, Tommy Orr, of course, another former Mariner. Uh, so he was actually the first player signed by MacArthur Bulls and at the time uh, was pretty much starring uh, for the Mariners. Uh, the Mariners, who are now three goals to the good against his new side away from home. Urena involves right from the off here. Uh, so he's come in to replace Matt Simon uh, in the starting lineup. I mean, it's passive from the MacArthur Bulls defence, isn't it? That's awful defending. Uh, as promised, I will just very quickly go through our team. We've got Mark Birigitti in goal. Negro, Niedermeyer, Tongic and Clisby. Pretty much established now as our first choice uh, back four. Then we've got Gianni Stensness in midfield. Alongside Oliver Zanik, him of two goals. Then in our attacking midfield positions, we have Janota on the right, Jankovic to the middle, and Daniel De Silva uh, operating in from the left. I expect him to cut inside uh, and really do some damage there. There he is, in fact, uh, getting involved. Up front, it's Marcos Jurena. I've given Matt Simon a bit of a rest. I uh, thought it was probably a good idea to give Jurena the shirt for this game. So far, I mean, that's proved to be a pretty fantastic decision. Not much in it in terms of shots. Four to uh, seven. Uh, but I am indeed very happy with the way things are going uh, for our boys. As MacArthur get things underway. Uh, MacArthur doing some really good stuff in real life. Uh, they're second in the league, actually, behind the Mariners. Uh, as things stand, four points behind now. Uh, following a win over Sydney FC uh, last weekend. I'm trying to think when this goes out. Uh, so it'll be Thursday. So that was over the weekend. Uh, MacArthur. Red card for Paolo Retre in that game. So the two sides have played each other twice this season. At Sydney FC and MacArthur. Both games, the home side have suffered a red card. Leading pretty much to the away side. Winning the game. Uh, bit of a, a weird little quirk. Uh, but that's how it's gone so far. In the first game, it was Mark Milligan, uh, who, of course, uh, was injured uh, for this game here in the Mariners Massive. He was replaced by Jean Rowe, uh, who's actually been substituted now uh, for Rose instead. Um, sorry, MacArthur went on to lose uh, that game following uh, Mark Milligan sending off three goals to nil. It then uh, transpired uh, in the re reverse fixture that uh, Retre got the red card and it was MacArthur who went on to win 1-0 thanks to a goal from uh, Matt Derbyshire um, who has quickly uh, established himself in the A-League. I think he's got seven goals so far this season. Uh, he is joint top uh, as the suggestion is to bring off Negro for Rolls. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually. Uh, Kai Rolls really unlucky to be actually behind Niedermeyer and uh, Rowan Tongic in our central defence. Uh, they just seem to be playing well uh, since the signing of Niedermeyer, uh, who of course last season was at Melbourne Victory, uh, released on a free, and thus was available for us uh, to pounce. We're now on 75 minutes. I don't think I'm going to uh, bring on Matt Simon uh, here, as the suggestion is to bring on Ruiz Diaz for Tongic to be ridiculous. I mean, where does the uh, assistant manager here, Big John Aloisi, uh, why would he think that? That's an awful decision to make. I mean, we've got Josh Nisbet. Surely you'd bring Nisbet on and move Stensner's back. Uh, I am just going to make a change uh, up front, actually. I'm going to bring on Alu Qual. And, in fact, Daniel De Silva, probably our worst player um, at the moment, is uh, he can come off for Diaz. Tongic is staying uh, exactly, I can tell you, uh, where he is at the moment in central defence. Uh, I've got a feeling this is going to be one of those games that's a little bit boring in the second half. If Football Manager uh, has taught us anything, it's that 
once you have a big first half, lots of goals, uh, establish a big lead, it's difficult for the opposition to come back uh, in the second half. Uh, as Diaz there, very nearly brought down, uh, which of course would be uh, a penalty. Uh, the suggestion to bring off Yanota for Bowman, I'm happy to go with that one, but no. Tongic, uh, you will be remaining on the field for the duration. Uh, all four substitutes having happened so far. As we sit here, 3-0 uh, up against MacArthur. Uh, they do seem a little bit all or nothing, uh, do MacArthur. When it goes wrong for them, it goes badly wrong. Uh, as seen in games against Sydney FC and indeed uh, Western United, who beat them by uh, four goals to one, uh, as Bowman should have really scored from that position, uh, as good as it was. Uh, Anthony Gonick has picked up a knock. Uh, he's not one of our players, so I don't know why I've got the opportunity to take him off uh, the field. Happy to. Happy to bring him off. I'm um, not a big fan of his, I uh, have to be honest, Anthony Gonick. Um, he was, uh, I believe, at the Mariners. Uh, and then kicked off a bit of a fuss, said that uh, he wanted to play for Wellington, went over to play for the Knicks, and hardly got a game. Uh, now he's back in the A-League after spell out uh, in the MPL. He is with MacArthur as a backup there as well. A classic uh, substitute, classic squad player, I think is the, uh, the fair and inclusive statement to make about him. Uh, just not a big uh, fan of his. Uh, as time is ticking away here, Referee about to blow his whistle, and there you have it, another win for the Central Coast Mariners. Uh, in fact, something that I've never done here is click on the Around the Grounds uh, button. Ah, right, okay. So, in uh, other scores, we've got Melbourne City 1-1 against Melbourne Victory. Will that save Patrick Kisnorbo's job? I'm not sure. That takes Melbourne Victory up to fourth. City remains stranded in 8th with MacArthur 9th. And will Ante Milicic survive, uh, having uh, lost this game to ourselves? I usually do get asked at this stage uh, in the press conferences how I feel about uh, sort of inflicting these results on other managers. Uh, and in truth, I don't care. I mean, they're just you know, digital constructs in this Mariners massive universe. They don't mean anything to me, so I'm quite happy to see them sacked, uh, to be honest. Um, let's see who else comes in. You know, who will MacArthur go for in order to replace Ante Milicic, uh, himself a former Matildas boss, um, as is Alan Stajic, who uh, of course is in real life the central manager, uh, Central Coast Mariners manager. Uh, he, when I signed, he was moved upstairs into a director of football role, so he's still at the club, still very influential. Uh, but uh, not involved in the day-to-day -day running of the first team. That means that we are six points clear now of Wellington Phoenix. But look at the gap to third. Look at that big gap to Sydney FC. 16 points uh, in the bag over the Sky Blues. That's just difficult to recover uh, at any stage of the season. I want to thank you for joining me today. It's uh, been a really good fun uh, we're managing Central Coast Mariners uh, so far this season. I mean, the results are going our way, as well you can see. Goals from Urena, two from Oli Bazanic, seeing off MacArthur in Campbelltown Stadium. Join me on Sunday, which is when we'll have the A-League rundown, uh, and especially with the transfer window being open as it is. There'll be plenty of news, a look back at all the results, and we'll see uh, who is uh, signing new deals and getting paid for transferring clubs. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you on Sunday.